We are lucky to be alive in an era, where people are dreaming and working to set their foot on another planet, and become a multi-planetary species. Be it Moon or Mars, we have achieved great progress in past many years, and are working harder than ever, to live on another world. But without even realizing, our living world has changed drastically in last few decades. Without much realization, humans have created another world within this world, we call it virtual world or virtual reality. Today we will discuss about virtual world in our life, Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse, how it's going to change our life, and how careful we need to be for this change. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tech News, our topic today is, metaverse. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so you don't miss our future videos. Mark Zuckerberg has recently renamed his company Facebook, to Meta, with the new name they are changing their company image from a social media brand to a metaverse company. Their apps, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp will run as it is, but now they are working on a future platform, that is Metaverse. Metaverse is just another name for virtual world. Mark's Metaverse focuses on bringing this virtual world to public. Metaverse is next step in communication and interaction. Currently video call is the most preferred medium to connect with your friends, family and work. Everything happens online now, internet has penetrated in every aspect of our life, our every activity is done via platforms made on internet which we call apps. We have apps for, gaming, education, medical, banking, fitness, reading, writing, communication, work etc. Metaverse will be a single platform to do all this, and do it in a more realistic and immersive way. With the help of VR, you will be able to enter into the virtual world, where your avatar will be able to behave and talk with other people's avatar, like you do in real physical world. Apart from VR headset, more devices are being built to make your experience more realistic. With these devices, instead of looking into a screen you will be inside of it. These devices will be embedded with touch sensors, voice sensors, even mind-reading sensors through which your avatar will be able to copy your expressions, gestures and your behavior in metaverse, like you do in real world. You will be able to meet with other people around the world, in an environment of your choosing. Meta has named them, Horizon Worlds. The other people connecting virtually, will be able to understand you by looking at your avatar. Also you will be able to modify your avatar in any way you want, like growing beard, longer hair, broad shoulders, you can be of any gender race or color you want, and even look like an animal if you want. But Meta is also working on tech to create a completely lifelike avatar. From every hair on your head, to skin color and facial expression, person connecting with you, will feel as if they were talking to real you in a virtual setting. Combining this with augmented reality, you will be able to do things which your physical body can't, like a disabled person on wheelchair will be able to walk run and even fly if want to. Like in real world, you will have your own home space, where you will be able to invite your far distant relative or friend. Meta named it, Horizon Home. You can chat with them with your avatar sitting on couch, play games, watch movies. Avatars will be able to appear instantly by teleporting, you can send invitation to people to come in your virtual home, and their avatar will be able to appear instantly. In Metaverse, you will be able to learn more visually and in an interactive way, instead of just googling information on your device. Also, unlike in real world, you will be able to go in past and relive the moments through your avatar. You will be able to recollect your lies, save the promises in your digital memory. From a small room in your house you will be able to travel the world. Work from home culture will get a new dimension, Meta calls it, Meta Workroom. You will be able to work with your co-workers sitting in a virtual office environment, when actually you are sitting in your room in boxers. All of this combined, Metaverse will make your life more productive and interesting. Meta is working on electromyographic or EMG input devices, where you will be able to make things happen just by thinking, like when your brain signals your finger to do a task, the device will be able to read those signals and translate it to do a corresponding task. For example, you will be able to send a message just by thinking of moving your finger, or drive a car just by thinking of actually driving a car. Since realistic presence is the key to feeling connected in Metaverse, Meta is working on such hardware and are closer than you expect. They are working on launching digital object in physical world, to help people get together in virtual spaces. Next year, they are releasing a new product that will push the boundaries further. Their new VR device named Cambria, will be a completely new advanced and high-end product, through which your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expression in real time. Apart from this, Metaverse brings new opportunity to earn. Developers and creators will have the whole new world to create, the only thing that will limit them is their imagination and creativity. They will be creating new cars, devices, houses, clothing, game environments. Meta has also introduced, Horizon Market. 
In Horizon Market, you will be able to sell the virtual products and experiences to other people. With your ability to code, you can make any item which is not possible to make in real world. And as the people takes more and more interest and spend more time in virtual world, every major brand will try to have their presence in this virtual market. As we try to live in virtual world more realistically, we would want to have items which we cannot have in real life. All of this will create a new economy, and cryptocurrency will play a major role. As cryptocurrency cannot be copied, and every transaction can be verified. Using crypto to buy or sell virtual goods, will give authenticity to the product. And just like in real world you will have a sense of ownership when you buy any virtual product. You can imagine how metaverse will change our lives. All this is the start of something new. But Mark Zuckerberg's meta, might be too late to metaverse. Even though I didn't have the skill or technology to build it yet. Many big companies have already made huge progress in virtual reality, and meta may not catch up to other big players in this space. People are already using virtual environments, there are already over 6 billion virtual account in top 10 3D games, which is far more than users of Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp combined. People are interacting with each other in virtual environment, through many 3D games like PUBG, Crossfire, and have billions of accounts most of which is owned by Tencent, largest gaming company in the world. They are organizing virtual events, like concerts on these platforms and millions of people participate in them. Many big company are already using these virtual worlds to promote their product. If you play PUBG, you must have seen Tesla Lamborghini showcasing and letting you use their product virtually. Not only this, movie makers are also promoting their movie and merchandise in virtual world, like showing Godzilla in Battlefield of PUBG. Creating these virtual world and products is not easy. Companies have already advanced from 2D page coding, to 3D worlds being created on engines. Unity and Unreal Engines are already world leaders working on millions of projects, and releasing new virtual games constantly, gaining millions of new users every year. Meta currently don't have this capability. Already major brands are building hardware to access these virtual worlds. There are many VR headset available, and people have preferred gaming PC and gaming console like Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo etc. to access these worlds. And with 5G, accessing virtual world is now faster and smoother, and even in headsets companies like Microsoft is already winning race with their HoloLens AR. Graphics play a major role in making these virtual reality more real. NVIDIA is creating more and more advanced GPU, which is already making virtual world very realistic. Can Meta develop such technology in time, or will it partner with such chip makers, it will be interesting to see in future. Chip makers are already facing a huge problem due to semiconductor shortage, we have already discussed this in detail in our another video, watch this video to get better understanding on this, link is given in description. Billions of people are already creating, interacting and transacting in digital world worth trillions of dollars. Five-year-old kids playing Minecraft, teenagers playing 3D games, and grown-ups transacting and working in cryptocurrency and virtual worlds, there is already a metaverse present in every stage of our life. So, what meta is claiming to be something new is already present in our daily life. And as useful and exciting it may sound, these virtual worlds have its own negative effect on our lives. Most important is data privacy. When we bring ourselves to digital world, we are exposing ourselves to the company running the virtual world, once we enter we cannot hide our private information, which can be used to convert us from being customers, to products. Facebook and Google are always being criticized, on how they handle their user database for profit. Inactivity is another major concern, more we become digitally active, the more inactive we become in real life. Kids are being exposed to digital world from very young age, due to which they are losing sense of how important the real world is. From our social life to education and working, everything has become digital, and if we are not careful, we could completely lose touch with what's actually real. The targeted advertisement and content is limiting our knowledge, many of us only know what being shown to us digitally, and accept the advertised facts and contents, when the actual reality is very different. Metaverse will give another level of control to companies. The more you live in virtual world, the more they can control your actions. If you are not careful, they can control your life choices, like what you wear, what you buy, what you learn. It's important to know and limit yourself to the digital world, as long as you are productive. The technology is incredible, and brings us closer. But, we still need to take care of ourselves, eat healthy, read real books, go out and explore the real world, and give importance to our relations and family. Also, it will be interesting to see how Meta is going to address these issues. Like I said earlier, interoperability, open standards, privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. And that point is, is so important, because this is a collaborative exercise. 
And in particular, we need to make sure the human rights and civil rights communities are involved. In their announcement, they may have assured us about data privacy from other users, but still there is no such details on data protection from company itself. If Meta is going to be like another Facebook, then we need to be more alert than ever. With Meta, Mark is setting the eyes on Metaverse and asking people to build their virtual life on their platform. But just changing the name of the company will not gain in the people's trust Facebook has lost over the years. Meta is just another clean blanket over Facebook to cover the stains of data theft. They need to change their policies and stop selling users' data as product for profit. We need to be very careful on how to approach the upcoming digital revolution. So be alert and take more care of your data and health. Remember, everything is productive as long as you know what's real. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We bring all the latest news in the tech world.